Five cats named Jack, Miss Dewdrop, Crumblebottom, Hector, and Potato were provided with catnip. Each cat was given a portion of the catnip, and none of them intended on sharing. Somewhere in the chaos of enjoying their catnip, one of the other cats slipped away with some of Jack's catnip. Jack claims to have seen Potato slip a paw into his nip pile, but eyewitness testimo testimony is known to be too fallible to trust as primary evidence. A more reliable method used for determining the perpetrator of a crime is DNA fingerprinting, which involves the gathering of crime scene DNA evidence such as saliva or blood, analyzing it, and comparing it against the DNA of suspects. Salivary DNA was taken from the crime scene, along with cheek swabs from each of the kitty suspects. Polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, was then used to amplify, or make many copies of, two loci containing short tandem repeats, or regions of DNA with short repeating nucleotide sequences, such as a repeating sequence of adenine and guanine nucleotide bases. The length of each segment of DNA is determined by the length of the short tandem repeats. Each individual will have different lengths for each loci. <clears throat> now that the DNA of each suspect and that of the salivary evidence has been amplified, the DNA products from the two loci can be run through two separate gels. This process, called gel electrophoresis, separates the DNA fragments based on size. Amplified DNA is injected into wells at the top, or negatively charged, into the gel. Once turned on, the DNA will fragment as it moves towards <clears throat> the positive end of the gel. Shorter segments will move further down because they can move more easily through the gel while longer segments remain near the top. The results from the completed gel for loci 1 is depicted. In loci 1, both Miss Dewdrop and Crumblebottom match the salivary evidence, suggesting either could be the culprit. This overlap is a product of genetic similarity because Miss Dewdrop is Crumblebottom's biological mother. The result from the completed gel for locus 2 is depicted. Here, only Crumblebottom's DNA fragment links align with that of the salivary evidence. Therefore, we can conclude that Crumblebottom is the catnip thief.